Here we have one of our 572 Hemis. Uh, this is rated at 700 horsepower. We just warmed it up, lashing the valves right now. Get ready to do some dyno pulls on it. This particular motor here, we've got the new Edelbrock sonar heads on it, so we're doing some testing um, with it. It's got the Indy aluminum sonar block. It's got an Eagle rotating assembly in it, custom J and E pistons. We have this dual quad set up on it right now. Baseline it with that. Kind of know how the Indy heads run versus the Edelbrocks. And then we're going to go ahead and put on a fuel injection system, so stay tuned for that. Be a Hailborn electronic injection. Pretty nice. It's got a solid roller cam in it. This has got the March serpentine belts. It's all chromed out in the front. Pretty nice. We'll go ahead and button her up and make some down poles on it. Okay, we finished our test on the 572 Hemi, the uh, Edelbrock dual quads versus the Hillborn stack injection. It was pretty impressive. We picked up about 30 foot pounds of torque instantly. About the same horsepower, which we kind of felt was probably going to happen due to the fact that the camshaft is really designed around the dual carb setup, knowing that. That was about all the power we were able to make on that and still make substantial torque. And doing this test kind of confirmed that. So basically, it will definitely take more camshaft, it will definitely make more power. Whereas the dual fours, your increment of power gain is very, very, very little with more camshaft versus what you're going to lose as far as torque. So, all in all, ran really well, very responsive and zippy. Idles 800 RPMs like a cat. So we're going to go ahead and put her in the crate and send it to the customer.